Hi, everyone. I'm meteorologist Danielle Niles. As of mid morning here, a lot of spots have already picked up one to three inches of rainfall, mainly north and west of Boston here. But the line and the axis of heavy rain is going to be shifting south and east over the course of late morning and afternoon. So a flash flood warning is up through 2 p.m. for southern New Hampshire here, parts of southern Rockingham, Hillsborough, Cheshire County here, already about two inches of rain expected. Uh, already two inches of rain on the ground with another one to two on top of that expected as this heaviest band of rain shifts through. Embedded thunder possible. An isolated severe storm to Boston Metro West getting into the thick of it around lunchtime today. Progressive remnants, though, which is good news. So by the evening commute, we will see some improvement, some lingering heavy rain along the south coast to Cape Cod, and then some partial clearing comes in after that. So flood advisories are issued. Some small streams may come out of their banks. The low lying areas, the typical spots that flood in a scenario like this are likely as well. One to three inches widespread across the region, but it's the heavy rainfall rates when it just pours like it is in spots. Two to three inch per hour rainfall rates means the rain just has nowhere to go and comes down so quickly that the flooding risk will remain elevated. Tomorrow we dry things out. Breaks of sun in the 60s, less humid. A little cooler at the coast on Thursday, a little brighter as well. And then we jump back into the 70s on Friday. It'll be breezy and a little more muggy as well. A shower Friday night is the cold front that brings in less humid air for the weekend. First weekend of fall, by the way. Fall begins on Saturday night, mid 70s, with sunshine Saturday afternoon, 60s on Sunday, and low 70s to start next week. We'll keep you posted on the flooding situation, and I'll see you again tomorrow morning for WBZ This Morning.